Hi guys, welcome back. I am beyond happy to be back. The last week I took off because I just wanted some family time. I wanted to recharge. I wanted to bring back the positivity. It is very easy to become negative and bitter and angry when you're on social media and sometimes that happens to me. I am that type of personality where it's just blah, 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 blah before I actually think it through and I saw that coming out of myself and I wanted to change it and I wanted to spend some time with my family. So that is what happened. That's where I have been and I am beyond happy to be back. I have been playing with makeup every single day just because I miss it so much because I normally just play with makeup when I'm filming. So I was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to do it because I miss you guys. I, I miss our connection. So today I'm going to be doing a video that I haven't done in a long, long time because they kind of fell off and people were like, you know what? We don't really like them anymore, but I do. I do like them. <laughs> and now with the Sephora and Ulta sales that had been going on, a lot of people are doing hauls and a lot of people are really liking them. So I wanted to do one and I'm doing this one in collaboration with an amazing channel that you guys are going to love. So I am collaborating on this haul with Hot Mess Mama MD. She is a smaller channel. You guys will love her. She's got a very beautiful personality. I adore watching her. I just recently found her not too long ago, a few months ago, and I've been stuck to her. I watch her every single time she puts out a video. She's from the south or southern of me, south of me, not southern. She's southern, but south of me. And I love her accents. Of course, I have an accent. Everybody has an accent, but I love southern accents. I love them. She does have a lot to offer on her channel as well. She does dupe videos, which I personally love dupe videos. If you're someone on a budget, that's where you want to be. That's like our gold pot is dupe videos. So she does that. She does unboxing. She does reviews. She does get ready with me. She does haul videos. She does it all, you guys. And she's so incredibly honest. And she has the personality that's going to keep you entertained. So she's doing her Sephora VIB haul on her channel. And I'm doing a throw-up haul. Like, it's literally a throw-up haul. It's from all different kinds of areas, from different people, PR, two PRs. That's it. That's it. Just two products. And then some friend mail, and then I purchased some things myself. And I just wanted to show you guys all, all of the makeups. <laughs> so let me shut up. Let's go ahead and get into this because there's so much to talk about, so much to show you guys. I'm so excited. Let's do this. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the stuff that I purchased myself. This is from TJ Maxx. I looked at the makeup section and they had quite a bit of high-end makeup there, but I just don't... It's hard. <laughs> it's really hard because you go to TJ Maxx and everything has been touched, dropped, swatched, opened. I mean, I'm just like, no. No thank you. But I did notice that my TJ Maxx is actually starting to put on those like protectors, the plastic things, hard plastic casing, and like the black wraps with the the beeper on it so people can't do that. I'm like, that's what they should have been doing from the start because I don't know how much TJ Maxx makeup I bought that was used. Ugh. So I did end up buying something that was in the protective packaging and it, it's not makeup, but it's my Shiseido washes. Ta -da! Yay! They had a bunch more, so I bought two. This is the Pureness Deep Cleansing Foam. As far as I know, Shiseido themselves in Ulta do not carry this anymore. This is kind of like a TJ Maxx exclusive Marshalls winners whatnot because I'm pretty sure it just went off the shelves. I'm mad about it because this is like my number one favorite cleanser. We did try the Ibuku or Ibuki. I don't know what it's called. It's a white packaging like this. It's a little bit more expensive because these are $13 a piece. That one was $20. We really, really liked it, but we both started breaking out. So we went back to this. All right, and the next thing was Amazon. I kind of went a little crazy on Amazon, just a little bit. I'm still waiting for some things. I grabbed some Shane Dawson merch because I love, love Shane Dawson. Like, I feel like he's my spirit animal. So I'm waiting for that to come in. I also finally got it. I finally got the e.l.f. Precision Liquid Eyeliner. So now I can take this and my L'Oreal Linear and Frankenstein that shit. Yes. I also got two more of my Arvazalia hair masks. If you're not new here, you're probably like rolling your eyes laughing because I talk about this nonstop. I love Arvazalia, so I got two of these. One is in the shower because, you know, I had to fix this crap of a mess. I also pre-ordered the Maybelline Lemonade Craze Palette. I showed this on my Instagram. I have been showing you guys swatches and pictures and like sneak peeks and things like that on my Instagram. So if you're not following me, you should be because I do stories on there. I do pictures. I do... I... 
I do the norm of Instagram on there. But this is what the palette looks like. I am going to be using this in a video. Let me know. This is the reason why I really wanted to do the haul video is let me know what you guys really want to see. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me that you guys will be seeing this week and, you know, some other things. But I really want to know what you guys are most interested in and what I show. So let me know. This was only $10.99 on Amazon. So I'm really excited about having it. The colors are gorgeous. So I'm just hoping that the formulation and the quality is there. The next thing I picked up has nothing to do with makeup, but I thought that a lot of you that aren't new here will appreciate this. I picked up this foldable aluminum stand for my phone because if you guys were there when I did my Instagram live, I couldn't figure it out because I have to keep my phone charging, otherwise my battery will die during a live show. So I picked this up so I can put my phone in it and charge it and it will be the right direction <laughs> for you guys. I love it. Okay, this was like not that expensive, so go Amazon. I will have everything that I talk about from Amazon that I love in my Amazon store, like influencer storefront, where it just, it's a whole storefront page of everything that I talk about and like from Amazon, so you guys don't have to try to go searching for it because that can be mayhem. And the last thing that I picked up was a makeup palette organizer. This is from Interdesign. This is a nine slot one. I have a five slot one from Rubbermaid right now, but I am going to be redoing my background here in my vanity area. I'm going to be kind of just, I've been spring cleaning everything and redecorating my house and things like that. I really want a different background. If you guys have any suggestions, please leave them down below. Um, you know, wall color, decorations, anything in the back that you guys think would look nice. I need help along with my lighting. Somebody come help me with my lighting because it's always screwed up and I look gross. All right, now for PR, this is from Octoly and I get these items free to review. It's my honest review and I'm very excited about it. It's basically the only way that I get to work with mainstream companies on a professional level and PR level because I'm just too small of a channel for them to really reach out to me like personally through email. So I get to get products that I get really excited about trying out. The first thing here is from Eyelure and they are more known for their eyelashes but they collaborate with Vegas Nay a lot on eyelashes on a bunch of things. This I saw pop up on Octoly and I was like you know what that is so unique. You don't see something like this every day. I want to try it out and review it and see if I like it. This is the Brow and Shadow Pro Palette. This comes with nine high impact brow and shadow shades but it also has like this primer, brow primer type of thing. It's really cool. It comes with a mirror and then it comes with all of these shades that you can use. It's more for brown toned eyebrows, which most people have. But there is even a kind of really dark, almost black shade down here. But you have a ton and you can use all of these either for your brows or your eyes. Either or. But then there's a brow primer at the end, which is kind of like a wax to hold down your brows or shape them. So I really, really thought this was an, an amazing idea. I used it on my brows today. I've been trying this out. I'm going to try it out in a video. I'm very excited about it. I am at the point with my makeup now where the things that grab my attention that make me want to buy them are things that are unique and different. Something that calls to me and I'm like, oh, I have to have that and I feel it in my soul. Anybody else with me? And the last thing that I received from Octoly free to review is from Brio Gio, if I'm saying that correctly. This is their Sculpt Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. I've seen Kathleen Lights talk about this. I've seen Taki talk about it. And that is probably the only two larger YouTubers that I'm like, all right, you got me interested. I trust you to a degree. I want to look into it. So I saw this pop up on Octoly and I was like, oh. But I have a sensitivity to a lot of Brio Geo products because they have coconut in them. I have a severe allergy to coconut water. I don't know why it's different with any other kind of coconut product, but coconut water will put me into anaphylactic shock. With coconut oils and other coconut byproducts and things like that, I can have a sensitivity to or I can just be just fine. So I had their like leave-in spray or detangling spray and that I had... A pretty good reaction too. It wasn't nice. It wasn't pretty. So I gave it to my daughter. But I wanted to try this out so bad. So I took one for the team. I used this. My husband used this. You guys. It's great. It's fantastic. I think I had a slight sensitivity to it. Because it did make my scalp hurt a little tiny bit. 
that could be just because I have a sensitivity to coconut. So it's not something that would happen to say anyone else who does not have a sensitivity to coconut. But I like the smell. It's so refreshing. Like if you're sick, use this shampoo. It will clear out your sinuses. It's like a tea tree kind of menthol smell. It threw me off a little bit because when you open this up, it's it looks like a paste. But when you go to grab it, it's almost like a whipped foam. It's really, really cool. My husband loved this. We both have dandruff. I have some psoriasis and in my hairline and stuff and flakes and things like that. And this is really what this is for to exfoliate your scalp and kind of get rid of all of that. It did. And I was shocked. It did its job. I have never felt like my scalp was so clean. Like so clean. And my husband, in my husband's words, he said he felt like his scalp was breathing. <laughs> I was like, that's kind of a really good description for it. This is amazing. I would I would recommend it. The hype is real. Alright, now I want to get to things that an amazing, wonderful woman named Tracy sent me because she likes to send me some things because she wants my opinion on them. And I'm just so grateful for her because she is so amazingly kind to me and has allowed me to try things that I would never be able to try ever on my own. So thank you so much, Tracy. And I want to share with you guys everything that she sent me because it's a little overwhelming. The first two things are from Tatcha and this is not a cheap brand. And these are two things I've wanted to try from this company for so long. The only thing that I've ever tried from Tatcha is their water gel moisturizer, which I do like, but I don't like it enough to justify the price. So I really wanted to try these out and see if they were like that or if they were like amazing. The first thing is the Tatcha Silk Cream. Now this is more for dry to normal skin, but my skin has kind of really been dry, especially like on my cheek area and my neck area and even my forehead. I thought that was really, really weird. So I wanted to try this out. This is a special kind of product. I mean, it's got a little spoon at the top of it and you put it in the top and it looks like a little apple. This is so luxury, it's not even funny. It's not even funny. It comes with a little tab on it. It's just like a milky white cream. I've been using this and trying it out. I will review it for you guys and let you know my final opinions, but for right now, it feels great. It's not too oily at all. It's something that I would like to use more at nighttime than during the day, but I've been using it both because I really want to get a feel for the product. So, so far, so good, but I want to start seeing actual results before I let you guys know how I feel. And then I got this, which is the new, and a lot of people have been raving about this. This is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. It comes with a little thing here, a little disc, so you can kind of like scrape it out because this is a paste, like a hard paste almost. You know, it's a solid there. So everybody's saying you need like the size of a rice grain um, to use it. You don't need much and I do agree with that, which, and you get this much. So really you guys, the price is very justified with this. I use a little bit more than the size of a rice grain, maybe a jasmine rice grain, but maybe that's how much I use. But this, I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. I think that it may be a little bit more suited or better suited for dry combo skin, but it still works amazingly. It works. Like, yeah, we'll talk about it when I use it in a video, but I'm excited about it. All right, the next few things she sent me was the Huda Beauty Foundation. This is, let's see here, I always mix this up. Full Filter High Coverage Creme Cream Foundation, and I got mine in Creme Brulee, so I cannot wait to try that out. I've heard really good things. And then she sent me the Becca, and this is the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I'm actually using this today. This is the coolest powder ever. It's a powder, but when you put it on, it feels like you're putting water on your face. It feels cold, and it feels wet. And then you go to touch your face, and it's set like a powder. Like, what? What? I'm telling you, that product and the Eyelure, the, the brow palette thing, so unique. So unique. And that's what grabs my attention. And the next thing that I got was the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation. This is a little bit too dark on me. I got it in linen. I thought it would be my shade. Um, it's a little bit too dark on me, but I'm going to keep it because I want to self-tan for the summer. I kind of want to be a little bit tan because I don't go outside a lot. So that might be my shade then. And to match that, 
I got the Laura Mercy Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. I have tried this out a few times. I do have an opinion on it. I do want to talk to you guys about it, but not in this video. And then she also sent me the Hourglass Stick Foundation. I have been wanting to try this for so long so long and this is in linen as well and it's the perfect shade for me I have been using this about four to five days now straight because I love it it's so good I don't think I've ever had a foundation that matches my skin tone that well like that that I love and that's a sin to love that so I'm not I'm not too happy about that love and then she also sent me a ton of velour eyelashes these are by far my favorite I'm wearing the wispy real good or something like that which ones are they do i have them here the case i'm a hot mess they're called wispy me away and that's what i'm wearing today i love these lashes they do need to be cut down for me which is just a couple seconds but i use the velour applicator and the velour lash um adhesive i love this so worth the money with these you guys so there's are tons tons of different kinds there's even ones for the bottom lashes right here these are for the bottom lashes i've never used bottom lashes but you bet your hiney we're gonna be trying it in a video we're gonna see can i do it i don't know and then she also sent me the tarte timeless smoothing primer i have been wanting to try this out as well this has been out for a long time i just i've heard great things it was a little bit smaller than i thought that it would be but i still i can't wait to try this i cannot wait i'm so excited to be able to try out all of these things you guys it's it makes me want to squeal but i don't want to be too loud in case someone is wearing headphones so you're welcome the next thing <laughs> that she sent me was from cover fx this i showed on my instagram this is a gold bar highlighting palette i've only swatched this so far i haven't tried it out so we're going to be trying it out in a video it looks like this it looks gorgeous comes with a nice mirror the packaging is nice i do like a lot of cover fx products so this kind of grabbed my attention right away so cannot wait to try that out either and we're almost done <laughs> i told you this was going to be long she also sent me the just or no it's not just peachy it was sex on the peach that's what it was called i have such an issue with that and a little bit of a rant that i did on snapchat about this and Too Faced and them doing that but whatever we're gonna move on this i believe was 45 dollars. i'm not positive but this is it comes with a full size um peach perfect powder which i have been using this and loving it but you guys the ones that have this and use it how do you use it because you open it up and it's got like this little thing here and you open it it's got a flap but you can't dispense the powder out so i have to put it into the cap and then i feel like i'm wasting it all like how do you get the powder to actually come out and just kind of sit in the container don't know can't figure it out help help me help me and then it also comes with the mattifying setting spray which you have to shake or you'll get white spots all over your face full size better than sex mascara which i've only ever had a deluxe size sample and i hated it tried this not hating it what's with that what's with that i swear the deluxe size samples of mascaras are nothing like the full size so that is, does not help it does not help us and then lastly it comes with the cooling matte skin perfecting primer which i have not tried and i cannot wait i cannot wait i've been wanting the peach products from Too faced for so long i still want the um palette the um peachy matte matte peachy i don't know the peach palette and the foundation ah uh, i just i love it and then she sent me some things from the Too Faced and Natural collection that just came out. This is the Natural Face. This is luxury. This kind of packaging, it's heavy, it's beautiful. Like, I know that it's very, very boring for them to come out with more neutral, natural things because they've done it before, but this is, they really amped up their stuff. They got a huge mirror, and then you get six face products. So you get a bronzer, I don't even know what that is, a shimmery bronzer or a blush maybe, two blushes and then two highlighters. I'm wearing this highlight here today and it's called Satin Sheets on my face. Beautiful. Wearing this blush which is called Pink Sand, gorgeous, and then I'm using this bronzer which is Sunny Honey. And then she also sent me two of the lipsticks, which are way smaller than I thought that they would be, but I kind of, I'm liking it. The first one here is Pout About It, which is a darker nude. And this one is a little bit patchy, to be honest. It was a little bit patchy for me, but not bad. You know, it's nothing horrendous. And this one is my favorite. This is Strip Search. This is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Ugh. 
it's gorgeous it's very very opaque smooth I just I love it I love this one right here oh it's so good all right and lastly lastly she also sent me the BH cosmetics weekend festival stuff here the palette and the brushes which I was super excited about because I wanted this palette so bad I'm wearing it on my eyes right now it looks like a Neapolitan look it's kind of like strawberry vanilla chocolate because I got hungry while I was doing my makeup but this is what the palette looks like you guys it's gorgeous there's so much you can do with this this is for someone who wants to try color or is you know uses color but not to a max degree there are colors in here that you're going to be extremely comfortable with but then there are pops of colors around the edge here that you can really kind of just stretch your limit a little bit with so this is the perfect kind of palette for me i know it's kind of about coachella and i'm not a coachella person one of those people that rants about the coachella people during the coachella weekends yes i just i'm sick of it but i love that and i really wanted to try out some bh cosmetic brushes because i don't have any and so many people tell me how amazing they are and i really think that with what i do here on youtube i should probably try some out so this is what they look like really great soft brushes there's a soft matte handle to them they're bright pink they're adorable I do have some opinions on these um just right off the bat but I do want to actually use them too and then have an even better opinion about it so that is everything you guys holy cow I'm so sorry this video is so long if you made it to the end you're bomb you're amazing and let me know in the comments so don't forget to go over and check out Hot Mess Mama MD's channel. You guys will love her so much. Let her know I sent you. I will leave her link to her channel down below along with her video link. You guys, she's amazing. You will love her. I promise you will love her. So go ahead, check her out. Let her know I sent you and subscribe to her. I will try my best to leave everything that I talked about linked down below for you guys. I'm so excited. We have so much stuff to try out, so much stuff to review. You guys already know. You already know. It's just let me know in the comments what you want to see going on first. So I'm so happy to be back, you guys. I'm so excited to be making tons of videos for you guys. So you will see me in the next one. Bye.